Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to my Correct Tech New Horizon series. Just done a little bit of rearranging, and I need to move, I think, a whole bunch of stuff here. I think I'm going to move all this and probably break this down because I don't really need the Soul Sand format anymore. Um, but uh, yeah, what I've done is set up some wood and some stone, so basically I can come over here with a thing and then we can vein mine it when it's done and obviously it won't break it because it is a different block so that is pretty cool uh, if you have the builder's one but uh i've gone ahead and crafted up the alexica batania and i did it because ah all right it asked me to build this, and I didn't actually know what this flower did. Everyone likes flowers. If you feed it mana, you get mystical flowers around it. So, yeah, I was just looking in the quest. So it has Orchid, which is kind of cool. You get ores from it. I wonder if... Actually, just random thought. Can you get Boron? Uh, it doesn't look like we can get Boron from the Orchid. But, like, Iron Ore... Get that from the orchid. So I don't know. Maybe something to think about. Really should get a axe of some sort. Uh, anyway, what else does it want us to do? Mana spreader and probably. Yeah, I guess we'll probably do ender flames. So endo flames require brown. Red and gray. Got a red. Light gray and brown. My inventory is a little bit full here. I do need some bone meal because I think I'm just gonna do a whole bunch of these get uh, a whole bunch of petals for these That's a bit annoying. I do need a chest of some sort, probably a crate for my Batania stuff now that I'm thinking about it. What's that? I don't remember. Ah, right, chest. There we go. Throw this out of the way. All right, uh, I guess throw it right here. Put some of this stuff. All right, now we can continue. Well, that's not what I want to do. <laughs> uh, there we go. That was funny. Totally forgot where I put it down. Uh, I need... And I really need to do something about those carrot seeds, especially if I go in one of the kind of like exploring mods because... They give some really good buffs, and I totally forgot to uh, do that before we went to the uh, Twilight Forest. Alright, so just gonna get a whole bunch of these, because I want to make a whole bunch of Ender Flames. So.
Thankfully, there's an easy way to get more of these because having to craft up um, like having to craft up more mystical what is that stuff called? Whatever the, the fertilizer would be so annoying. But alright, there we go. There is plenty of those. So let's go ahead and let's see. We need some seeds, which we have plenty. I have buckets. And just do the right hand thing, I think. So endo flames. Oh, you can put the whole flower in? Oh, that's a mushroom. Just kidding. You can put the mushrooms in. So, two brown, one red. And then... That. And then if we right-click... Oh. Easy enough. Once you get in the kind of... Nope. There we go. Oh, how about nine? So we can do like a three by three. Oh, that was weird. I think I put the seed in and then right clicked. All right, I didn't know you could do that. Did you know you could do that? You could put the seed in first. Hmm, interesting. Alright, and then before we place these, we need the mana spider. Which is just, yeah, one any petal and a verdant crystal and the wood, so easy enough. Verdant crystal. Oh, it's on me. Put it on me. Just back. I have. I don't really have any. I should put a thing over there. A uh, crafting table. Mana spreader. We're also going to need a mana pool, probably. Yep, mana pool. Ah. Right, that's where I left off last episode. I'd forgotten about that. All right, so I need to... Oh, no claws. I'm assuming we need to craft this up. Drop some slimes, obviously. All right, so I'm gonna have to do a bit of farming here, I think, because I don't have everything for this a mana pool. This, yeah, and the luminous thing—that's easy enough. Yeah, that's easy enough. But this, Enderman, easy. Blaze are a little less easy. We have those. So I need some leather and some slime. I don't think I've gotten like any. Oh, we have a few of those. I just need. All right. It looks like we have most of the stuff actually. We just need some Enderman. And, um. What was the other thing? Slime. So I have to go. Where the heck am I going to get slime? I think I saw... Wasn't there a slime island somewhere? I thought I saw a slime island. I could have sworn I saw a slime island somewhere. Maybe that was in my test world. That I saw a slime island off in the distance. Alright, uh, yeah, let me get some Enderman spawning here. And, uh... Yeah, I need to find the rest of this. I wonder if they drop from, like, magma cubes. I don't know. Anyway, we'll be back. And we are back, and I was looking through JAI, 
for the slime pearl drops and you can actually get them from common loot bags as we can see i actually got three right there and uh i've been getting a whole bunch of mana steel from these and the constellation papers we can see i have all of them that you can get so far with them and lots of junk obviously but uh yeah there's some cool things to get so that's how I ended up getting the, the slime pearls. I just opened up probably, I don't know, 50, 50 loot bags or so. And as we can see, I've kind of gotten a whole bunch of stuff there. Uh, loot drops, lots of these reliquary loot drops. So I got a squid one. I got some witch's hats. I got a whole bunch of different things. I got some shadow gems from Abyssal Craft. That was pretty cool. And we got a whole bunch of the Enderman things. So actually that was actually kind of kind of pleased with that. How much? Yeah, we got 22 mana steel from that. A bunch of gold. So yeah. Something to think about if you want. I was just opening the common ones because it's a small chance. You get a higher chance for that. But obviously we can open up this is a 4% chance, but we can open up 200 or 400 common loot pegs for the same amount. But, uh, yeah. So we needed some of those and some of those and some of those. That. Ah, leather. That's right. Um, leather. So I think, yeah, I need two of those. Yeah, it is nice. So relatively easy to get. I know I could just go find some slimes, but I figured it would probably be easier just to open up some loot bags for them and see what we got, so. There is that. All right, so we need these, and then we also need these. So we need four of these. We need 16. And I don't remember. Trying to remember. Why doesn't that want to work again? I'm trying to remember how that... Uh, do we need specific... Now that I'm thinking about it, do I need... Oh, I don't think I did... Crystallization research. Did I do that? Looks like I didn't. So we do have mana. Uh, the book. Where did I put the book? There it is. Did I learn, what was it, crystallization something? Nope. All right, let's get this. Do I have any of the... wonder if it's gonna be more than seven. That'll be more annoying if it is more than seven. Yep, it will be. Oh no. Wow, that that worked out. <laughs> uh, that was funny. That apparently had exactly the amount that we needed. Yeah, there we go. So what do we need? We need four of these. So I need more of the siphons, right? Right. do a bunch of these I don't know just grab I'll just grab a whole stack or so as well this is so weird like putting this siphon thing in it just feels kind of weird to be honest all right that what am I doing 
that increases the amount of mana you can put in. Duh. Put the seared crystals in. That's how you get the thing. Right. It's been a few days since I have recorded the, uh, from my last episode, so that's why I forgot. All right. But here we go. And we needed... I'm already forgetting what I'm doing here. Getting distracted. So we need four of these, which is one craft, but we do need... All right, so we just need four of these, right? I don't want to do more than I need. I don't know if it's... Is it two each? Did I... Oh, it's two each. Why was I thinking it was only one and one? Anyway, we got four of those, and then we need the glowstone. And that goes in this. For those. All right. So we got that, we got that, and we need five living rock. One, two, three, four, five. And there we go. That is the mana pool. Let's go ahead and get this set up. I'm going to throw it down here. Oh, I need a... What the heck's the name of that rod of... It's the... The rod... Like the wrench of Batania. What the heck's it called? Ship... No. Oh, man. This thing. Wand of the Forest. That's right, so I need living wood twigs. That's right. And then a couple, two petals. We have blue and white. And I need to get a crafting table over there, but do that. So there is the Wanda Forest. Put that there. Point it towards that. The end of flames. And they all should be connected. I like to put down this better first, so when I put down the flowers, they all connect instead of like manually connecting each one. And then let's see. Probably Cold Coke would be, well, I don't know. Is there a... I'm gonna think. Can we use like... Is that like... Wasn't there like red coal or something? Yeah. I wonder if we could use that in there. I wonder if that actually does anything in... Uh, kind of curious actually. That makes a difference in... The thermal lilies. So it looks like it's the same burn time now. I think that's how it... I think that is um, how it determines how much mana it gives off, I think. But the... Uh, how much mana is depends on the burn time. That should... Are you... Yeah, they're all burning. All right, cool. So that is filling up the mana pool. Nice. So that is that. Let's see. Runic Altar. What are we looking at with this? Oh, this is actually pretty easy. That is easy. So we need the mana pool in there. Get that. Get some more. That's all right. I need to craft up some more of these. I think I only had one left, so let me get this and we will come back. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can craft up this thing. It shouldn't be too difficult. So we have it's not, um, 
not too difficult of a recipe. And I already forgot what it is. I think it's that, isn't it? Yeah. So there is the runic altar. You should get a thing for that. While I'm here, I'm also going to craft up another mana there. Go. It is kind of cool that the normal mana better thing has like a green thing in the middle, and it needs a verdant crystal, which is green. I don't know. I guess it's it's sort of green, so that could be like the verdant crystal in the, the recipe. But wait, that's not what I want to do. Basically, what I was gonna do was that. Pretty sure they're like already linked. It just needs to like fire out and it'll fire out and then a straight line and it'll hit that anyway. But I usually like to link it anyway. All right, but uh, yeah, so there is a very basic Batania setup. And the reason I wanted to do this was to get into the tier three mystical agriculture seeds because these are, um, these ones are pretty good. Um, so if we remember, we're going to need lots of this black iron stuff. And so we need ender biotite and we're going to need a whole bunch of that stuff and iron wood, lots of iron wood for the runes that we're going to need. So I uh, wanted to get that going. And the tier three ones seem to be where a lot of the stuff is. So we got ender biotite there. We got iron wood there, steel leaf, a lot of these decent um decent crops we can get here so like blizz and all that stuff that's pretty cool um don't really need like iron and stuff but uh yeah that's the reason i kind of wanted to push for this at least um so let's see I think the first one we want to kind of work towards is this one. Uh, looking at all the... Remember which one they're under? Delta. Like, none of this stuff is super important. Maybe Mystical Flower Seeds. That might actually be kind of cool. Grains Infinity we might need. But most of the stuff we don't really need. It's the Tier 3 ones that are, like, the good ones. Even Basals or whatever it is. Assaults. Where are you? Yeah, that one. And the reason for that is because. Come on, there we go. I don't know if we're gonna get this, but that is needed in the the next thing. But uh, not. I want to get this line. I think that'd be fun. But uh, yeah, I still want to get. Light, and that is 768 so gotta get cracking with these quests <laughs> um, but anyway so let's I guess we're gonna have to let's check out how we're kind of jumping different mods here but we're gonna need to craft up this prudentium stuff so that needs a yeah tier one crafting seed base crafting seed all right that's simple enough Oh, there's the tier one crafting seed. The tier two crafting seed is this Prudentium, and Prudentium is a bit annoying to craft up, but uh, it is this Frisian from Linecraft and Infernium, and this Infernium crystal. So we have our mana diamond. Well, we need to get the mana diamond now. Let's go ahead and do that. So that's another reason we need to get into a little bit of Batania. So basically I was all these mods, these kind of magic mods that we were kind of getting into was basically to help progress into mystical agriculture because it is so strong. But uh yeah. So we need this. We need this. So Infernium Crystal. Just put that right there. So base essence ingot is a platinum. It's run by for those 
And we need, yeah, four of those. Four platinum. A whole bunch of this. Prosperity shards? Hmm, that's a question. Do we... We get these. We can't get them from sieving. They're actually pretty easy if we automate endstone. Obviously, prosperity ore. Fortunately, it doesn't look like there's any, like, a mystical agriculture thing for that, but... Uh, well, so, platinum. Assassin's ingot. I'm assuming that's over here. Yep. And then we'll do. Oh, we need four of that. We also need to automate that as well. The infernium, because we're gonna need lots and lots and lots of infernium. There is that. And uh, I do know this mod has been removed in the next updates, so we shall see what happens. I know they have to change a lot of the stuff, so we'll see in the next update. All this stuff will probably be changed. But for now, we'll just kind of go ahead and do it as it is intended. All right, so how do we want to do this? We need Prudentium. I guess we might as well. Yeah, let's do that. Let's grab a hole. Where did I put this stuff? Over here. I thought I had more. Infernium. Infurium. I will say Infernium with an N, but it's Infurium. Alright, so what was it? It's like that and like that, is it? Yeah. Alright, so there's that. That's just like that. And then you can use it. We want to use it for that. Or do we want to use it? Maybe we should use it for that. Yeah, let's do that. So we need more of those. And just grab a stack. This. No. that that and this in the middle all right and then that does give us like a full one and this one has 252 this says 512 all right nice so as we can see it's like it's kind of like nested crafting so it gets pretty crazy really fast intermedium requires this carfax which we did find as well i'm assuming that can just be processed normally Yeah, I'm assuming if I throw it in here, I'll probably get to, I hope. Yeah, all right, so there's that. Um, so the question is, yeah, this gets out of hand pretty fast with the amount of the stuff that we need. The question is, how are we going to get large amounts of it? Because there's no, like, crop for it. I'm just kind of curious what the intended route with that is. Because manually having to mine this up in the landcraft dimension seems a bit annoying. You can get it from orchids. So maybe that's kind of one of the intended routes to get this fris friskian ore. Fris friskian ore. But uh, all right, let me craft up a little bit more off um, without recording because this is a lot of crafting steps here and we will come back and we are back and i did a bit of mining up and it's pretty fast ish with uh or excavator and an unbreakable pick but uh yeah it's definitely not super fast but uh i got some as this intermediate essence we've kind of worked up here and i was pushing i was really pushing for the ironwood ingots but i think i'm getting a little bit ahead of myself so i've gone ahead and crafted up some of these inferium seeds 
And I do know AgriCraft is in the thing, so I thought, why don't we go ahead and at least kind of start doing this? Because I need to get a decent kind of um, a decent source of Inferium. Otherwise, uh, the hundreds of Inferium that we're going to need to get this um, because the Ironwood is tier three so we need four of those which i got but then we need four more and each of these is four of these so we need 16 16 of these so we need a stack of inferium although actually now that i'm saying it it's not that we weren't that far off actually but oh well um i went ahead and crafted up these inferium seeds and was it that no it was that that yeah so crop sticks from agricraft so let's go ahead and i think i'm pretty sure these work on these but could be wrong and i'm assuming this is kind of similar to yeah i'm assuming this is kind of similar to the um like the crops in ic2 that we've been doing in Um, great Tech New Horizons. So we'll let those grow. I do need the seed analyzer thing. But yeah, seed analyzer. Easy enough ish. Should have that. What else do we need? Sticks. I think that was everything. Nope, need a stone slab. I think I have like one stone slab, or did I chuck it over the side? I may have chucked it over the side. I was like, oh, I won't need just one. So put that back, because I, oh, it was right there. I just missed it. And there's that YouTube blindness again. So, seed analyzer. All right, but uh, yeah, that's about wrapping up for, for this episode. We got into some Batania. We're getting just set up to uh, start working on the, uh, our crops here for all the resources that we're going to need uh, moving forward. And then, uh, yeah, there's, yeah, I just want like a decent base for resources. I like having lots and lots of resources so then we can start progressing through all the different mods because some of these recipes get pretty crazy. I think probably Ender IO might be one of the first ones we kind of get into, but uh, yeah, we're going to need infinity. So being able to get the grains of infinity for that, you know, that's uh, kind of what I was kind of working for before we start really heading into the progression again. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. So thanks for watching and have a good one.